Hey guys, Nathan Brendan Masters, Inktober 2019, day one. Now, typically I don't use the prompts, but I said this year I'm going to actually use them. And as a matter of fact, I didn't even know you were supposed to use prompts until like the middle. I, I didn't know like anything about Inktober. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I didn't know anything about Inktober. Didn't know anything about Jake Parker or any of that until like last year. I just knew of Inktober and uh, I knew people would do it. And I said one day, hey, I'm going to do this Inktober thing. And then I, uh, you know, in the middle of it, I kind of found out about Inktober and about Jake Parker and about the fact that you're supposed to have prompts. I knew, you know, I heard people kept talking about the prompts. I'm like, what, what, what prompts? What are they talking about? So today the prompt is ring. So I had some options of what I could do and uh, I could draw somebody holding a ring. Uh, I could draw one ring to rule them all. I could draw any number of things. But me being who I am, and you guys know uh, what I like and what I'm into and uh, the kind of stuff, I like some horror stuff. I like like me some horror. Not necessarily, it is a thing about me. I don't necessarily, I'm not like a huge fan of horror films per se as much as I, uh, uh, that depends. Uh, I really like horror characters more than the films themselves, depending on how good the character is. So, today, what I'm going to do for the first prompt, that prompt being ring, is I'm going to, and by this point, you have probably have figured it out, I'm drawing Samara from the movie The Ring. And I saw, got a picture of her on, on Google, and I uh, just started to uh, go to town here. So, just so you know, I drew this first. I'm just going to narrate over the picture because I don't like drawing and talking at the same time it, it just it just never works out for me and uh, I kind of got everything together uh, kind of quickly here so I got this together uh, just put a camera right down on the right by the pad here you know this this is in black and white because I'm you know makes the black stand out more and uh, I did something I was gonna try to Dan Fragger this thing and like just go at it with ink <laughs> Yeah, no, no, that's that, that's not that that's not happening. And speaking of Dan Fragger, uh, Couch Doodles is on YouTube. So uh, if you haven't seen that, uh, I follow Dan Fragger on Instagram. He has this thing he does every day called Couch Doodles, and it's just like a, it's just a, you know, him drawing little things every day, and it's you know sped up, and he just does one. Daily and they and it's really crazy because if you know anything about Dan Fraga, Dan Fraga has the amazing ability to draw like he doesn't pencil first, he just goes at it with the ink. Hit he hits it. It's and now I do this sometime, it never turns out <laughs> as good as it turns out when he does it. So, uh, if you haven't seen that, I don't know if he's going to be doing that on his. YouTube channel, but on his on his um, Instagram page, he does it all the time. And also, a lot of times he'll do some uh, he'll do some raps. You know, he'll he'll you know bust some bust some rhymes in the uh, in the Instagram stories. So he'll do that sometime. But uh, this is my the pen that I'm using here is my uh, Pentel. Uh, I forget what the actual name of this is. It's, uh, it's a Pentel brush pen. I, I think it's called the Feud Feud brush pen. I love this pen so much, so so much. You can see how the ink just flows out of this pen. It's it's really, I, I love this. Uh, I have the Pentel brush pen or the pocket brush pen as well. Don't like it as much. The cartridges seem like they run out too quick, and uh, they the ink doesn't seem like it flows as well. So, this one, I like. In fact, this is the pen that I draw with most of the time when I'm doing brush inking, which uh, I mainly I mainly do brush inking on the 
watercolor paper. Canson has this watercolor paper that like everybody uses. I use it too. It's the um uh what's that what's that paper called? I forget the name of the paper, but it's the paper in the with the blue cover. And uh really good paper. It's really really good. Stands up for you know, stands up to watercolors, uh ink, you know, like heavy inks, all that good stuff. I discovered this when I was drawing Victor Locke Demon Noir, uh, I actually, I was drawing uh, smaller, smaller sizes, you know, drawing at smaller sizes. And uh, I said, next time I'm going to uh, go and get it. You can get it for cheap. They sell it uh, at um, 12 by, 12 by 7, no, it's, yeah, 12 by 17 or something like that. Uh, so it might be 12 by 18, but what it is, I take it and I get it cut down to 11 by 17 at, I take it to Kankos, have them cut it down. And uh, that's what I use to do. Anytime I do the ink wash or any kind of watercolor or anything like that, I use that paper. So I, I don't know if I'm going to be using that as much. I have kind of made a deal with myself that once I'm done with all of this paper, I'm going to start uh, doing my artwork to uh, on the tablet. Right now, I'm just using my tablet. Uh, I think after after Epitaph Bread and Salt, I no 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 after Hexcraft Mechanics, uh, that will probably be the last book that I edit, or, or at least that I do my lettering. Uh, on the computer and start doing my lettering on my iPad using Comics Draw. It has probably the best lettering functions uh, that I've seen. It's like you can letter manga, you can letter, uh, you know, just you know, regular comics, any anything. You can just do it in Comics Draw, and yeah, that that for that alone, <laughs> I was impressed. Uh, so I, I have a few programs on my iPad that I'm going to be using, and uh, I want to jump head first into doing so. But uh, other than that, guys, this is the picture, and uh, I like it. Think it think it looks uh, pretty good. So uh, tomorrow I'll be going for the next prompt. See what we can do with that. So. Uh, you guys take it easy and uh, thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, you know, I know things are are looking down right now, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to keep cranking out my stuff and uh, doing my thing. So let's see what goes down tomorrow, guys. Nathan Brandon Masters. Hasta.